Some alarming news for scientists. A new study shows Greenland is getting greener. Greenland's ice sheets may seem like an inhospitable place to live, but microscopic algae have bloomed on the ice sheet for at least a century. But as the algae spreads out over the ice in the summer months, they create vast, colorful fields known as watermelon snow, changing that white ice mauve and gray. But dark ice absorbs more solar radiation than clean white ice, so it warms up and melts more rapidly, and that invites more algae to grow and spread. A team from the University of Bristol in England is leading a five-year study on the algae bloom's influence on ice melt and ultimately how that contributes to sea level rise. Martin Tranter is the lead of the study called the Black and Bloom Project. It's like if you were wearing a dark shirt on a very sunny day, you find yourself warming up very, very quickly because the blackness in the t-shirt is absorbing the sun's energy. And, it, and it's just like that for an ice sheet surface. A dark surface absorbs more of it. More absorption of energy equals more warming, equals more melting. Currently, the Greenland ice sheet, the largest mass of ice in the northern hemisphere, is adding about one millimeter a year to the rise in the global average levels of the ocean. If it were to all melt, we're talking seven meters of sea rise. And that's why Greenland is such a focus of research. It has direct relevance to major coastal cities like Vancouver. And while sea level rise data from the IPCC does look at melting ice sheets, the latest report on sea level rise doesn't actually include estimates of biologically inspired melting like this algae bloom loop. They haven't taken that into account yet. Scientists will be heading up there this summer and hope that it'll be entered into the global models of sea level rise soon. And now you're science smart. If you've got a science question on your mind, send me a tweet and I'll try to get it answered.